Day 4. I always kept one of these as a kid, but gave it up. Life just got too busy. Guess now I've got more time than ever. Name's Diego. Never amounted to much in life, just flip burgers and hunt it. I love to cook, but the restaurants around here just wouldn't have me. Said I didn't fit the education requirements or something stupid. Looks like the white collars should have come into my world for a while. I learned to hunt, live off the land. Maybe I should have educated them. Either way, if you're reading this, you probably took it from my corpse. Basil and oregano adds a perfect tang to a tomato sauce. Good luck. Welcome back to Projects On Board. It's Rod here, and today we are kicking off in our nice little house. It's been, it's been maybe half a day. Not really done anything. Loaded up the house with some gear, so we are now pretty light. And I think game plan is go get our car back. So there's one major, major thing missing from us, and that is a mode of transport. So getting out here was a little bit of a struggle. So we ended up ended up getting pretty overrun back in town, which is where I'm going to be headed right now, straight to the hardware store. Ended up getting pretty overrun down there, but I'm kind of feeling confident on the return trip. So, so down in that area is a nice fire station, which I would absolutely love to get to. The fire station, wow, just that main strip, holds our car as well, which we also kind of need back. And just down the end of that road is a gas station. Now if I can find a couple of gas cans, that'd be ideal. Um, a whole bunch of food and maybe an axe or something. I'll be able to head back out here get ourselves somewhat holed up and protected and yeah kind of just just start chilling yeah first step is getting to our car okay the thing that's already proven a threat is sleepiness and exertion we've had to travel a very long way to get down there and our body has not taken kindly to it ah uh, that's 10 times worse than i thought we'd get okay we need to get to our car get in it start it and go ASAP. Can't remember where it was. Somewhere up here. Ah, that's ain't good. This could be a very short series, ladies and gents. <laughs> Come on, clear the fence, boy. There you go. Let's just bring them around this side. Alright. In you go, boy. We heard it click. Can only mean one thing. Come on. There we go. No getting bit through the windows today, ladies and gents. Okay, I think what I want to do is just head directly back there. With any luck, this whole just mess of a herd will come with us and make our life just a little bit easier. But I think to and from this area for now, we're gonna have to be gonna have to be driving. Choiceless. It's just way too busy. I can't remember if there's a smash on this road, but hopefully there's not. I had a feeling there'd be quite a few Zeds out waiting for us. Not as many as I thought though, which is nice. And we didn't get overrun in our sleep, which is even nicer. Yeah, we're, we're off to a pretty good start, I'd say. So, I mean, it's only going to be downhill from here, for sure. Only going to be downhill. So we've got, we've got quite a long way to go back and forth from town, which does kind of suck. So I need to, need to change that ASAP. But I'd like to keep this base as a little backup base. I've also just realised I've still got the Snow on Cars mod on. <laughs> which does actually look pretty funky. And it's going to look ten times better in the snow. But yeah, we might just have to suck it up for now. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking if we just head back down that main road. By car, not by foot. I'm just taking care of the stragglers on the way. So that'd be nice. Nice if we can... Kind of keep on top of anyone that's out this far, if you know what I mean. So I do not want to be dealing with mess just 24-7 from Zeds. And plus, the Garden Fork is just a wonder. Forever and always my favourite weapon. I mean, apart from the drill, but... you got to love it whilst it's here. Just wish I had a slightly better spear skill for it. But that's okay. Alright, I'm going to clear these out and then hit the road. Never actually searched this either. There's a nice generator sat there waiting for us. Dream come true. 
three boxes of nails, wonderful. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's get out of here. We have got a compost as well. 20% fuel, full, even better. This is a good spot, hell of a good spot. I don't think there's a whale up here, but it'd be nice if there was, but yeah. Let's head on back. Okay, this place is way busier than it once was. It's actually kind of scary. So I think I'm just going to leave the car right there. That is the way. That is the way. So hopefully we can kind of just clean house a bit. We've definitely got our work cut out for us there. For sure. Uh, almost dead already. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need need a little bit of distance here, aren't we? All right, what can we do about this? We've got a gun as a backup, which is nice. Not that I really want to use it if I can help it. It's completely empty. Okay, now we're gonna have a gun that we can use in a hurry. Okay, much better. It's a big old group. Not a group I'm gonna be dealing with today, that's for sure. Hey, we're on sun and supply. That's a gun store that I will get into, even if it kills me. Definitely not today. <laughs> Definitely not today, but in future. It's absolutely a job for another day. Can we get a big stab on you? No, no we can't. Okay, if we can maybe... dip behind the gas station. We could be alright here. Pulled a bit of a blinder with the, uh, the spear there though. Definitely a good shout grabbing that weapon. Have we got a backup one? No we don't. Okay, that's fine. Means we're going to need... A little change of pace sooner rather than later. All right, let's just let's just do the rounds. We got this in the bag. We've just got to uh, just keep it controlled, basically. Nice. All right, the have come down a little bit earlier than planned, and I'm kind of hoping, kind of hoping the herd just loses interest in us by the time they get to the corner. Yeah, we've got to deal with a handful anyway. It's just fingers crossed. Ah, damn it. Speaking too soon again. Literally just gonna say, fingers crossed for the stamina. And <laughs> it just it just goes instantly. Drew man is back in town. So if we can we can pull this off, I'll be happy. Come on, fellas. Alright, no bigger group. All good. Oh, man. Not bad going. Not bad going at all. I was a watch in there, but gonna ignore it for now. Just, just in terms of safety. Probably not the best idea to go digging for it. Alright, there's a big group there. It's a smaller group here. Probably the one we're going to go for. And normally there's not a chair in that hardware store, so we can't even rest up. So I might have to try and bust into one of these rooms somehow. Failing that, there is a bench. We'll be alright. We'll be okay. Just got to hope that old Diego here can pull it off. Come on, fella. Fight through the fear. Ah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm telling him that or me that. Okay, come on. Definitely at least one behind us. I can now see one behind us. Ah, dude. He's trying to get rid of that crawler. See you, Kenny. And hopefully that's it. 
There's a few up top. Right where we want to be, actually. Too many in there. And no chair. Classic. Uh, either way. Should be able to get cosy somewhere. This will do. A sound. A sound is never good, is it? Does this take us? No. Thank God for that. That way we can at least fill up our water. And then deal with the mess. Back to all reliable. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Another water bottle. Very nice. Alright, this is the place that I want to be. There's a lot more chairs in there. There's definitely one more guy. Yeah, there we go. I knew I'd seen you. You only had them from me. That was a key there. Take you. Thank you, ma'am. And any more for any more. I can disassemble the jukebox, but I'd rather take it. Oh, man. It's a dream come true. Ah, that's not. That's literally the worst possible thing I could have asked for. <laughs> it's not my dream. Oh, come on, you're doing so well earlier. Absolutely going to get a broken window too. Yep. There comes the rest of the herd. Is it just me or are our crawlers getting a whole lot more common lately? I feel like I get one every other herd. Other than that, I never see them at all. Or haven't really seen them at all. I don't really know what's going on with that. I wonder if you've got any ice cream for us. Oh. <laughs> you can't write it, could you? Five tubs of ice cream. I mean, probably the last thing old fatty boy needs, but I'll take it and I won't complain. All right, let's just get rid of this for a sec. So long term, I will come back for it, but short term, you can be the weirdest pool cube we've ever seen. Um, did I rest? I rested earlier. I haven't rested recently. There we go. Let's just polish off the crew. Is that... That's not a broken window. They definitely did just fall through that. Very weird. Yeah, none of those are broken. Just a weird geezer. Alright, what do we actually have in here? A few planks, that's nice. A trowel. Never grabbed that second bag, did I? Put it back. Ooh. Carpentry too. Exactly what I'm after. Perfect. Metal working one's done. Metal working two we need. Oh man, what a day. Welder's mask, even better. Metal working is underway, ladies and gents. We're going to be a metal working man. Uh, which means I should probably take some metal gear, shouldn't I? Maybe some screws as well. There's the wood glue for the old uh, thing. Don't really know what the files are for. I have got the workshop mod, but never really used it, so I don't really know what it does. But I'd like to. I'd like to know. Yeah, let's just grab the rest of it and hightail out of it. I let one Z break a window and <laughs> brought just chaos with them. My god. So it's literally just stacking up everything we might need. Uh, what am I up to? Do I have any vitamins? Stacking up everything we might need to take home. And yeah, this whole herd just comes rolling through. Classic. That's just what I was after, actually. Christ. 
we got really lucky we weren't even more tired so I'm literally waiting for the second level of it to come through as we speak come on fellas don't know why he's getting so tired so quick they're sleeping in a lovely bed out in the country I mean no neighbours to bother him and yet he's battered in the middle of that maybe that's it don't retire ladies and gents you get tired very early Okay, what have we got here? Very nice. Yeah, we found found a good bit of gear. Very good bit of gear. So still a couple of bits I'm just sorting out. I think I think the plan is just to pull the pull the car up to the door, hoik everything into the trunk and go from there. But I'll show you the the little stash I've managed to build up. Once we get this last one filled. Okay, here we go. So this is shelf number one, not bad. Is shelf number two, again, not that bad. And shelf number three, probably our most valuable one. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. We're we're off to a pretty good start, I'd say. A few bags of plaster powder, which I wouldn't mind taking for for the future, but right now, not really essential. So, I uh, could maybe load a good chunk of the car up, couldn't I? Not a bad idea. Hope it doesn't draw too much attention. As long as we leave it at a crawling pace. I feel like that's just gonna make way more noise than if we hoof it, you know what I mean? So if I just back that right up to the door. Should be fine. She'll be right. I think probably the best idea though. Unload everything in our bag onto there. Wait for old Tasty Zed to come on down. Take care of him before he's a problem. And then get the business. Load number one, coming in hot. Already a fresh load of duct tape in there for us. We should be able to do two in one trip, which is quite nice. So each of these shelves takes up 20 and our trunk is 42. Quids in, ladies and gents. Quids in. Well, on that note, Let's get out of here. Oh man, how many times am I going to do that before I learn that you guys drive on the other side? Ah, it's the bane of my life, I tell you. Right, I'm going to finish off that stale, stale ham. Be ashamed to waste it. Let's get ourselves home and get everything unloaded. Home and ready to go. So the only thing I haven't worked out is where I want to, where I want to store all of it. Uh, I guess we got the utility. Yeah, we've got two pretty big cupboards here waiting for it. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Can we get to that one in the corner? No. That's fine. Coat hooks we can't use either. Okay. Well, I guess... I guess we just shift everything in there and transport it like that. Nice and easy. So I think I think what I kind of want to do... I've made a small, small mental base plan already. So, what... Where the hell did you come from, you dog? Probably followed the the noise of the car. Now do it. But yeah, I think what I want to do is wall off this area for a start. Get a door on there. Door on there and door on the front of the dining room, is it? I think there's a dining table in there. Sack off this dining table. Yeah, empty all of this out. And this can be a, a little mini storage area. I think that's a good idea. So um, I'm not planning on staying there long term, believe it or not. But whilst I'm here, I would like to make the most of it. I think this is going to be kind of the initial initial starter house slash uh, kind of like a storage area, I guess. So I think... I think once we get the ball rolling, ah, you peanut, did a silly. Once we get the ball rolling and start traveling places, I'm going to need more forward bases. But I would like at least one just constant, just standing base, if you know what I mean. So it kind of makes sense in my head to have it out here, way out in the middle of nowhere. Because, I mean, who doesn't love a base in the middle of nowhere? I certainly do. I'm all for it. Absolutely love it. All right, just need the last little bits. And that's that whole kitchen empty of mess. Yeah, I bet you guys didn't think you'd see this, did you? Me actually being organized. 
straight off the bat too. It's a very rare sight. All right, I'm going to go get some sleep and pick up tomorrow morning. I think game plan for tomorrow is head on down to the fire station. I would very, very much like to get an axe. So if we can start chopping down some trees and getting some good stuff done, we'll be laughing. But yeah, I'll see you guys bright and early. So I'm kind of glad he's just like, just cracking on. It's quite fun. I've missed just basic projects on board. It really is a huge love of mine. It really is. So we're, we're off to a pretty solid start as well. So I'm kind of happy with the way that's turning out. So we are getting a little bit sad, which is not, not exactly ideal. But overall, I reckon he's, he's got to be quite a happy bloke, hasn't he? You'd think so anyway. So we're oh, six days. Could be worse, worth getting out of here, really. Don't think we've got the emergency broadcast. No. No, we don't. Hmm. Just thinking about a helicopter. So the last, last, last thing I want to do is leave ourselves prone to an attack from a heli. So that's just, just asking for disaster, really. And that's something I could really do without, if I'm honest. So I do really need to get this whole walkway cleared up, too. If I want to be dragging cars in and out of here. Kind of got to be prepped for everything. Also need to fix up the hood as well. Otherwise, we are going to be losing this car faster than we got it. Okay, this place does not look as good as I thought it would. It's lucky he's a king with a short blade. Okay, I don't think he's that good. <laughs> Christ. Come on, fellas. Easy does it. This, this train just keeps on growing. Oh man. Oh Christ. Ah, that's not a deal. <laughs> well, it's just just noise. Couldn't even make words. Alright, uh, what do we do here? We draw them out and get rid of them. We do not fight. Not for a second. Um, Alright, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Annoyingly, we can't really go round two up to the gas station. We do kind of need to fight a bit. How good is this weapon? And we only have one. Still got the batteries. Okay. That's not so bad. A little bit less worried now. Christ. Hmm. No, 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 not even gonna think about it. <laughs> I was actually just thinking maybe I could take them, but we are maybe two seconds away from getting a little, little exhausted mood up in that corner. That's something I could really do without. But he's doing well, isn't he? All right, whilst we're here, let's just. Brilliant. Hearing groans behind us too. See ya. Now if we can just double round this. Use these little walls and planters to our advantage. Work out a charm. You two gonna be nice. Oh, one down. That's two. So oh, that would have been a hell of a swing as well. Didn't quite check behind us far enough, but it looks like we're actually pretty good. So I do usually try and keep the roads clear, but yeah, not, not this time. Not this time. Also the worst possible fighting angle I could think of as well. So I 
kind of need to flip them back around and take them up the other way. But we'll, we'll see how we go. Okay, it looks like we've just pulled in a little herd from over the fence, which I'm not a fan of at all. So that's the one thing I was going to try and avoid. I reckon we could try and take them up and over though. There's a bench up here too, so we'll probably, probably end up losing half of them just in the confusion, which would be nice. There's a Z up here. And a candy store. There we go. Here's open a few of them. We just kind of get lost. Get out of here, boy. The stairs did help, though. Helped line them up quite well. Cool. Extremely lucky there. Ah, out of water. Is that the last one? No way. Wow, that's a hell of a herd, and I'm more than glad we dealt with those. Oh, there's a lot, lot of computers in there as well. Dreamy. All right, hopefully someone down here has got a uh, water collector. You know, or a sink. I'll take take anything at this point. <laughs> please, please give me water game. Definitely not in there. Here we go. Last room on the aisle. Not bad. Just head back out into the real world. Last couple of stragglers down the far end. Other than that, we look pretty good. I'm impressed. Diego has shocked, shocked the world again. Alright, whilst we're down there, I'm definitely going to rest. With our back to the only broken window. Probably the most convenient access point. <laughs> Come on, fellas. Last but not least. So surprised those stairs worked as well as they did. That was an absolute game changer. I was not planning to turn and run there. Don't know what came over me. Sound. All right, we are 222 Zs down. Six days in. Not bad. We're also sweating a lot, and we're unpleasantly hot. May we lose the shirt. Um, and the hoodie. We're not even close to being done. That's the worrying part. Sneaking skills gonna be a wonder though. Yeah, we are playing with very high population, so it's going to be pretty dicey. So I opted out of going for insane this time round. I've had enough of just just plowing through his heads, basically. Kind of want to be able to do something productive, at least. Like footed, beautiful. Do we get a bonus for that too? No. Just a sneaking bonus. That goes up. An insane amount. That's ridiculous. At this distance as well. We're not even not even close enough to be pulling ridiculous figures. Like that. We'll be level four in no time. <laughs> Unreal. That was maybe five seconds of us walking in a circle. Ridiculous. So I think I think I'm gonna stick to the sideline though and just We've kind of got to go through it, don't we? Give me that, lads. Nice. Alright. 
What is the play, Diego? What is the play? Maybe the smaller group. It's got to be one of them. These guys. One down. Uh, short blade skill was a game changer. One extra level is basically knocked off. Maybe two hits. Unreal. Easy does it, fella. There we go. Fairly good, fairly nice. Another handful down there. There's always one more. Coming out of the woodwork. This time too. Almost pulled a sneaky one there, boy. Alright, how much do those batteries give us? 50%. Not quite 100, but I'll take it. Wonder if it's uh, an electrical skill that gives us a higher chance. I think my only issue with these is you can't can't get the sneaky stab with them. Do love a sneaky stab. Ah, brilliant. Equally love the ground stab. Let's just break that off. See ya. Alright, we want to stay well away from these guys. Yeah, close enough to, to build that level. Come on, lads. Right, they're literally coming from every single direction here. What are you up to? See ya. I love the exit signs. It's always my favourite glow. Alright, let's see what we got. Wrench, nail gun, magazine. That's going to be very handy. Two axes. Beautiful. Ah, oh, Christ. Just kind of let you boys in. Caught me off guard. A book. Another axe. Another two axes. Could make an axe man out of you yet, Diego. Compression shirt. Not really something we need. Wait, what did that say at the bottom? Teach us how to scrap mechan metallic items. It'll do me. It'll do me. Probably one of my favourite buildings in the whole of Louisville. Not for the gear you find, just for the layout. It's just just wonderful. Alright, let's just bang most of this straight in the oven, I reckon. That can go from the oven to the fridge. Press this cheese. You can go straight in me. It's vegetables, fresh or frozen, doesn't matter. And the meat patty takes the longest. There you go. Wouldn't have guessed that one. All right, well, I think on that a rather, rather nice note, actually, I'm going to love you and leave you just there. So I might set up some life and living whilst we're gone. But yeah, for the time being, I want to get cosy and... Ah, can we not? There we go. I want to get cosy and just wait out the rest of the day. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks for member support on the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.